Hi, in the previous lectures, in the previous lecture, we have seen this line: print, len, input, enter your name. But the problem is, this is too complex. We are using three functions, and generally, it is it is better to simplify things. So we are going to simplify it using variables. Okay. Now, initially, we are using a variable called name. Okay. Now the thing is, what is a variable? So a variable in a programming language is nothing but it is uh, in simple words. If I have to tell you, let us say there is a memory, and a small part of memory is is storing a data. Now that memory is going to have an address. If you have to access that memory, you have to have that address in your hand. But typing the address and remembering the address is not very easy for, for us for human beings. For that reason, variables are used. So variable is a name tag given to a memory location where data is stored. So you can think of variable and address as synonyms. In fact, when you look at the symbol table for any program, there the variable and the and the memory will be associated. So even though you use a variable, it will be converted into a memory address, and from that memory address, data will be fetched. But one thing, if you observe here, so here we are writing name equal to Name equal to input. Enter your name, which means we are getting something from the terminal and we are storing it into the name. Now, if you are used to C, C plus plus Java, you might have seen that before we use a variable, it has to be declared. The type has to be declared. But in this case, we are not declaring the type of a variable called name. It is automatically understood. Okay, so this is called weakly typing. Are loosely typing. So Python is a loosely typed programming language where you don't have to declare the type of a variable before you use it. It will be automatically understood. Okay. Now, now let us see. First, we have read something from the terminal using input, and we have stored it inside the variable called name. And then we are trying to find out the length of a name, length of a name, and we are storing it in the variable called length. And finally, we are printing the length. So the same line, whatever we have done in one line, we are we are now doing it in three lines. Now let's run it and see. So you can see that there is a prompt called enter your name. The prompt is in the program, right? So if I if I type RBR, it is showing the length of RBR is three. Okay. Now, now if you observe this, if you clearly observe this, print is nothing but Whatever is present in the variable length, it is printing. So you can clearly see that name is a variable which is storing a string, and length is a variable which is storing a integer. Therefore, the type of name here is string, and the type of length here is integer. But they can change. So Python is a dynamically typed language. For example. The same name which has stored a string and which has got a data type string can store an integer. Now let's see that. Let's say name equal to hundred. Here the brace is missing. Yeah. Now name is hundred. Name is an integer, and now if I print the value of name, hundred will be printed. Let's see that. See this name of uh, now the value of name is hundred. Initially it was RBR, and then it is changed to hundred. Now let's try to assign a float. Now we are assigning a float value, floating point value to name. Now if I print name, it will work fine. So the same variable is storing three different kinds of data, data types at three different places. So it need not be just integer, float, and string. It can be list or dictionaries, which we will see later. They are complex data structures. So a variable can also be having a type of list or a type of dictionary. And they can change during the entire execution of the execution of the program at various points. So that is why Python is dynamically typed. Okay, thank you.